Let's try this again. Welcome to Kingdom Come State Park in Harlan County, Kentucky. Early morning start, October 21st, 2021. So I've been spending quite a bit of time here uh, at Kingdom Come the past few weeks, getting here early in the morning, getting some sunrise shots. So I actually scheduled a, a couple of days off from work to come down here and hopefully capture some, some fall color. It's not quite as colorful as what I was hoping it was when I scheduled these days, but it's actually, it's actually, it's quite nice. The conditions for a favorable sunrise though, it's quite a bit overcast as you, as you can tell. It is actually about 10 minutes from sunrise. So we're still, we're already at that time where we should be able to get some, some nice colorful photos of, of the early sunrise if we were gonna be able to. Once the sun rises a bit more and there's a bit more light to work with, maybe some nice black and whites will be uh, something to, to try out. And also there is some color um, peeking out. Some, I see some reds, some muted yellows, a few oranges. It's mostly still green though. So I've got a shot lined up here. This is one I actually like quite a bit. I wish the light was a little bit better, but like I said earlier, I think with uh, maybe some black and white, this is gonna work pretty well. So what I find interesting about this particular shot is uh, just the layered nature of it with uh, the ridges of Pine Mountain going from, it's like a one, two, three. It really runs your eye from one point of the image to the next. Uh, anyway, one second, F11, ISO 100, two second timer. All right, so one of the main reasons that I wanted to come out this morning, um, other than the, the landscape here and trying to get some fall color, which didn't really materialize, um, is actually because um, a couple of, probably about two of you who've ever seen my videos, uh, may remember last year I came out with a video. Um, I don't come out with videos often, but um, I came out with one last year where uh, my uncle Mike had given me a, uh, a camera, this uh, Spartus Press Flash box camera. Um, thanks again. Thanks again, Mike. I really appreciate it. Um, it's been a lot of fun to, hang, to, to play around with and, and to use, and uh, I have been getting some use out of it here lately. But also in that video, I mentioned that I wanted to clean this camera up um, and use it, run some new film through it. Um, so that's what I plan to do today. Actually, the, the camera itself was in re some really good working condition. The shutter fires every single time. Um, really all that it needed was some some cleaning on the lens. It's got a little fixed lens here because it was pretty dusty and, and grimy from what I assume was decades in, a, in someone's closet or basement. So um, it's ready to roll now. And I've actually already shot a roll of Arista EDU Ultra 400 through its 400 ISO film. Um, and I've discovered that it has uh, a nice light leak in it, which isn't surprising um, considering the age of the camera. So I've actually got some black electrical tape. I'm just gonna tape over it and hopefully that'll seal it up enough for me just to run a couple of rolls through it. So yeah, so we're gonna go, go down to um, Cumberland. It's a town right here next to the park. Uh, we're gonna see what we can get with it. got some decent light now and I'm going to load up uh, this roll of Kodak Ektar. And this isn't exactly the, the easiest camera uh, in the world to load, I can tell you that right now. I don't know if this tape's going to work. Um, should. Alright, we got it moving now. 
Oh, son of a bitch. I just wasted a frame. I wound it too far. Shot. So that's uh, one roll of film down. I really botched the uh, recording of that one. I, uh, I didn't record the first um, two frames. And then I forgot to turn the sound on for all of them except for the last one. Uh, so it goes. But anyway, that's the Ektar down. I don't think I'm going to record or record anymore or shoot anything else in. Uh, Cumberland here kind of shot everything I want to in this area. I'm still gonna load That roll of uh, Tri-X right now and Then we're just gonna drive around for a little bit on the way back home and um, I don't know we'll see if there's anything else to shoot All right, so that was the Spartus press flash box camera uh, a fun camera to use Definitely um, not the most uh, technically sound, but still capable of producing even 70 years later. It was discontinued, I believe, in 1950, so there hasn't been one made in 71 years, but even now it's capable of producing some pretty character-rich images, I think, and um, I mean, it's, it's a little fun to use, you know? So I ran into some issues, though, that um, really hindered a lot of the images that I got and you can see clearly in this image right here, which is actually my favorite of the roll. Um, this was taken in a small little town called Vico, Kentucky, uh, in Perry County. Uh, just kind of on my way home from Kingdom Come. But anyway, you can see very clearly in the lower left-hand corner the number eight. This was the last frame that I took. Obviously, some, the numbers were transposing from the, uh, the backing paper in the film. Not sure why that was happening. I've, I've since looked it up on online, some, uh, some other cases. Uh, who knows if um, those cases are the same as this one. A couple of them were expired films. This one was not. It was definitely in date. I've had, just had the film for uh, just about a year, I think. So it, it should have been fine. Not sure why it wasn't. You can see on this image as well. Uh, which is, I guess is my second favorite one. I really like this image too. And this is an image where the flaws, I think, actually help it a bit. This is an old timey store in Letcher County, Kentucky, just before you start going up uh, Whitesburg Mountain. And you can see the cloudiness of it, especially in the shadows. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is probably a, an effect of the, the backing on the, uh, the paper as well. I mean, who really knows for sure, but I um, mean, it, it does, I, I do like this image. It it's actually gives it a quality, like it's really just an old timey photo from, from decades ago. If it weren't for the Coke machine up front and the, the Donald Trump sign in the window, um, this could very much be uh, something from uh, oh, pre, pre World War II or something like that, just from the looks of it. It's almost like a, uh, a filter has been dropped on it. And people really, people really like filters nowadays, I've, I've noticed. Um, and on this one, you can really start to see the, the light leak um, playing a, a pretty big factor in, in the final image. Um, right here in the lower right hand corner, uh, you can see the same shape that was I, I was getting from uh, the previous roll of Arista Ultra that I shot a couple weeks ago. This is the Parkway Inn in Letcher County, just outside of the town of Whitesburg. Here's another image where the light leak is evident. This is at Car Creek Lake in Sassafras, Kentucky. And this is an image that I really like just because of the contrast uh, between man and nature. It shows a bit of the encroachment of, nat of man uh, into the natural habitat. So it was a, a nice scene that I really enjoyed. I may actually go back and try and shoot this one again at some point. This is an accidental double exposure um, in the little town of Vico. Not a whole lot to say about it. Um, here's one that's uh, another one of those shots that maybe it could be taken, you know, decades ago. It's not super tack sharp. It's got that cloudiness 
But also, as you can see um, down at the bottom, the number six has been transposed from the film backing paper on it. So uh, again, that issue, I I'm sure the cloudiness is probably a result of that as well. So yeah, those are the images that I, I got from this roll. Uh, you may notice there's seven instead of eight. It's a six by nine. It's a six by nine medium format. Um, so you should get eight images out of a roll, but um, right before I took that, this is the last one with the uh, the abandoned liquor store. Well, I kind of wasted a wasted a frame, pointing it completely down, pulled the shutter accidentally. That's another quirk of this this camera, particularly. Uh, if you're not paying attention, um, it's easy to to mess up because the shutter has no safeguard. It just it goes whenever. So that's actually what that double exposure was I showed you earlier. I didn't mean to take that. It just happened, but. Um, yeah, it was a nice little test anyway. Anyway, so I should also note that I'm not going to be able to show the color images that I made on the roll of Ektar. I don't, um, I don't particularly like home development of, of color film. It's just a, it's a real pain with uh, the temperatures and and all that. With uh, black and white film, it's really yeah, you're developing at 68 degrees, which is essentially room temperature. So if you have to have to change the temperature a little bit, it's it's minor. But with color. It's it's a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a pain to do. So so I've sent that roll off in another roll that I shot for another video off to State Film Lab in Louisville. It's the first time I'm using them. Hope, hopefully it's going to work out. I'm sure it will. Pretty highly recommended from a, a fellow photographer here in Kentucky named Nick Wrightson. Uh, does some really really good uh, medium format film work. You should check him out if you ever get a chance on Instagram or Twitter. He does good stuff. But yeah, that's the video for now. Hopefully we'll get to uh, come back and review those color images if everything worked out there. If not, uh, I guess I guess that didn't work out. But anyway, I appreciate very much uh, you sticking around this long. If you did, hopefully you liked the content. Uh, drop in, drop me a message, comment on the video, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you again next time.